Well, good morning from La Paz, Mexico. This is my third day of exploring this amazing place on the south end of Baja California, Sur. I am gonna be continuing my adventures here in the La Paz area today. I'm just waiting for my fixer from the local tourist office. He's going to be taking me to the mining town of El Triunfo. Supposedly, it's a very cool place in the mountains and the hills, uh, kind of in the middle of the peninsula. So we're gonna take a little bit of a day trip here, learn a little bit about the gold mining history here in the area. And we're also gonna try out some tacos for breakfast that are, I guess, a sustainable sustainably farmed totoboa fish, I think it is. It sounds really interesting. Can't wait to check it out. Heading out now for another great day of sightseeing here in La Paz. We've arrived here in the historic silver mining town of El Triunfo, right in the heart of the Baja California Sur Mountains. This beautiful church is the El Triunfo Capilla de Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe. So the Our Lady of Guadalupe Chapel. Really beautiful church, as you can see. Very rustic. I think the gate is closed, but uh, at least gonna at least get up here to get a quick view. So definitely cool to see them restoring these historical relics to their former glory. Amazing. So I'm going to do a full tour around the area here, look around this uh, historic town, and then check out the Muvaca Museum, the Museum of the Cowboy here in El Triunfo. So it should be a really good morning. How old is the town? 1756. 1756, wow. So this is one of the derelict chimneys at the abandoned silver mine here in El Triunfo. This was a huge part of the local economy back in its heyday, but it did produce, I guess, some very toxic chemicals. So it's no longer in operation as it would have contaminated the water supply for the peninsula, but uh, pretty interesting history. This was built in 1890, so definitely a historic part of the Baja California sewer story. All right, we've arrived here at the English Cemetery. So again, there is a ton of English involvement here in this mine area of El Triunfo. And they actually also use Chinese laborers here. So there's a Chinese cemetery as well. But uh, these are all the graves of those who worked here and uh, set up the mine here at El Triunfo. So, a lot of history here, and these all date back to the 1800s, so very cool. So we're just at the viewpoint now, overlooking the village of El Triunfo right here. Whew, a little bit of a walk to get up here, but you can see beautiful historic town, kind of between the Pacific Ocean and the Sea of Cortez. Such a rugged mountainous landscape, and it's very green as you can see. And right there is the chimney that we just visited, and another chimney right there on the left. So. Beautiful little village here with a ton of history. All right, we are all finished up with the walking tour of El Triunfo. And back here at the Muvaca Museum in this gorgeous restaurant, really atmospheric, beautiful place. And I'm gearing up to have a traditional ranchero breakfast. So kind of like a cowboy breakfast. And I'm gonna taste the local uh, totoaba, totoaba fish, which is sustainably farmed. Bon appetit, let's give this a shot. The burrito yeah. is a very, it's a very um, common part of the, of yeah. the breakfast, the ranchero breakfast. A ranchero breakfast, but well. you only have to taste the totoaba here in La Salle Okay. And that's it? That's awesome. <laughs> okay, thank you for sharing that. All right, the totoaba burritos have arrived and you can see Beautiful presentation, served with uh, refried beans and a tostada and uh, spicy sauce over here. So looking forward to trying these. Sustainably farmed totoaba fish burritos, traditional ranchero breakfast. All right, first taste here of the totoaba burrito. So really good. It's got uh, almost no fishy flavor to it. So it's a really light, uh, delicate fish. Got a hint of rosemary. Really good breakfast. Well, my hosts have offered to let me taste this quesabiria as well, which is you know, birria meat with like melted cheese. It looks so good. 
and then you just fold this over. It's kind of like a gordita at Taco Bell, but uh, much better. All right, I'm about to begin the tour of the Muvaka Cowboy Museum, which is a really beautiful property here. You can see uh, old hacienda style. Oh, very cool. So this first exhibit goes through you know, the changes in attire for the vaqueros or rancheros over the years. And then you can see this one, 21st century. So you're a modern day Mexican rancher. And same over here, modern day cowboy, basically vaquero. And that's pretty well standard for Canada too, I would say, exact same attire. Maybe not the knife, but uh, yeah, very similar though. Calgary Stampede attire, very cool. So this is more the 19th century attire. So back in the 1800s, what they would have looked like. An 18th century, wow, leather jacket soldier from the 1700s. All right, so this is another example of a 21st century uh, vaquero here in Baja California Sur, and he's wearing a what they call a cuera, a leather jacket for working outside. So more of a mountain cowboy attire. So you might be wondering why this is, you know, relevant and not just, you know, random trivia, but the vaqueros of Baja California Sur, they gave birth to the cowboy culture in the USA. So this was all imported from down here, traveled north along the peninsula to get to the USA and uh, eventually gave birth to cowboy culture back in the Old West in the 1800s in the US. So we didn't actually know that cowboys were a Mexican import, but uh, very, very cool fact. And this is like what their home would look like. Similar decoration, like they were quite wealthy. Oh, it's a stock for the mining company. So Triumphal Gold Silver Mining Company actual shares there. So capital of 1.5 million dollars back in the late 1800s so wow so this is the music that would play at a fandango which is what's illustrated in this uh, painting it's different eh from most mexican music quite different yeah it's like hawaiian <laughs> a little bit yeah we get ukulele yeah 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 and that's one of the first saddles yeah this typical yeah, wow, very cool. Yeah, it's very similar to the stampede we have in my city in Canada. So really interesting also that the uh, Spanish colonizers in this area brought with them this practice of branding. So kind of laid the framework for cowboy culture even in Canada today where you do branding. So um, still carries on. It's like we're sitting around the fire. So it's the traditional lunch kit del Forjas. Yeah. And it's very common still today. People have it, yeah, wow. So these murals were painted by a local artist here in El Triunfo. So great to see that they've put so much money and investment into building such a great museum to tell the history of their area and the history of cowboys in general. Really amazing museum. Definitely check out El Triunfo and all the attractions here if you're in the Baja California sewer area, whether you're in Cabo or in La Paz check it out it's an easy drive from both all right next stop here is the Museo Ruta de Plata to learn a little bit about the silver route here in the El Triunfo area so I'm gonna head inside and learn all about silver mining here and they have this recreation of a mine very well done museum you can see they put a lot of effort and uh, time and resources into putting this together and these mineral samples you can push this button and see what they're like under fluorescent light and over here you can see the importance of the burro or mule to uh, pull the heavy carts of silver so they have this uh throwing a beanbag game here and i tossed one over just thinking i would miss i suppose i got a hole in one and i honestly should have filmed that but uh, it's probably not gonna happen again so good luck though all right having lunch here at el minero de el triunfo which is the restaurant right inside the ruta de plata museum so very convenient all right so this is the number one paella in the La Paz area, they've won awards for their paella and it cooks outdoors right here on this massive walk. So looks amazing and that's gonna be my lunch today. So. This is tomato and pepper. A little bit a of little the compote, pepper. yeah. A little bit of the cheese. Ah, uh, perfect. Looks delicious. And then you try it. Delicioso. Okay, tell me how it is. Bon provecho. No. <laughs> okay. 
Thumbs up, thumbs down. All right, my food has arrived. This is the paella. They make the best paella in all the La Paz area. Award-winning paella, so can't wait to dig in. It has pork belly, it looks like, shrimp, uh, maybe beef, carne, pork. yeah, carne, mm -hmm. mussels. So it looks really good. So can't wait to try this award-winning paella. And they serve it with a glass of sangria to wash it down, so nice touch. So pretty decent paella. And honestly, the sangria is so refreshing. My only, you know, battle right now is that it's just so oppressively hot, but I'm doing everything I can to cool down. It's, uh, it's definitely hot out here though. There's so much history here in El Triunfo. I highly recommend that you come out here with a tour company or with a rental car and check out everything that this small little village has to offer. Such a great place.